Hi you guys, welcome to my channel, Trusted Gem Goddess Cleta. Or you can call me Cleta, either one would do it, answer to both. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good jazz. Oh my God, it feels so good, I feel so good. Of course, I was going through spiritual warfare and spiritual attacks, I have a lot of messages, but we're going to get straight into this video, this video. Um, They had been putting spiritual parasites and entities in my aura, and that's what I was dealing with, a lot of confusion. Uh, they put this spiritual implant to make me dyslexic and to think th to think things backwards, and that's why you see a lot of holes in my writing and stuff. Now, get, get, grant me, I do have dyslexic brain. Don't get don't get me wrong, but a lot of that was corrected when I was a child. So the way that I was going about it, because I seen it in the cards, I seen it, and they were just trying to make me look stupid, calling me retarded. Um, I don't know. It don't hurt my feelings. It's just like, yeah, do all that through spiritual warfare. Um, so yeah, that's what it was doing, y'all. This was last season. Um, the dyslexia was now, but calling me retarded was last season. Um, these people that work for the government, uh, not all of them, but most of them are people that work for the government are really. A special kind in the state where I live at there even no cuz I had some people that work for the government they get paid barely nothing and they ha I had some good social workers in Florida like I didn't have like I had some of them that that did weird shit but it wasn't to the extent over the state that I stay in now they're like people where I live at now are undercover mean they're nice in your face and nice when they talk to you they say things nicely but they're mean they go behind your back they're backstabbers that's exactly how to explain the agent the, the agencies that i've dealt with social services that i dealt with here in arizona now those are those people they're they're secretly they're nice in your face they talk to you nice they say and they do the not the, the the meanest stuff they treat you like really weird and it's up for the black community here i can say the black community here i have had no problems with the black community here not one single problem where i come from before it was the opposite so um but here like i don't know black people be chilling with they still play their music live and, and when we get together it's a good time you feel me everybody be like you know what this at you know what this at because we were trying we just be trying to be at home chilling you could tell that it's like some real good people who just left their hometown sort of like me and just wanted a clean say clean start away from everybody away from the drama and just away from your you know because a lot of people stay where they grow up at and it's not good for nobody, not good for the community because they're comfortable, they're around their parents and their loved ones, which is okay. You can do that. But they don't never really grow. They don't never really achieve much in life in the black community where I was in um, Florida. So I have to say <laughs> kudos to um, those people who make that change. I don't, I don't know if they had good or bad lives before. I don't know. I just know that I can, I can see that good spirit in them know they just come to you know and I, I be making good people like I'm talking about African American people I'm not talking about Mexicans I'm not talking about no other race I'm talking about truly people who are um heavily melanated let's put it that way um it was so it's so refreshing I, I see them here and there <laughs> they're scarce where I'm at but it's it's nice when I do see them. I have met one crazy, but she she wasn't crazy to me. <laughs> she was crazy to to the other people. <laughs> she was going off on the other people. She said, "Uh, uh baby, you sit right here. Watch this." She said, "I get them hell." <laughs> she do, and they they child she they cleared the, they cleared the way for her. I, I love her. <laughs> she be having me every time I see her. She be having me. About to peel myself laughing. I'll be laughing so hard. Uh, um, but I don't see her much uh, often because I do work from home. So, bummer. <laughs> but when I do see her, it's a good time. Okay, Holy Spirit, come to this reading. Give us clear and concise messages, Holy Spirit. Clear and concise messages, Holy Spirit. You are welcome. 
welcome in this place. We welcome you. We welcome your advice, your counsel, angels, ancestors. We welcome you guys' advice and counsel only. But loving it, good, balanced advice, counsel. So, yes. Um, let's see what comes out. I'm going to um, pause this for right now. And put it on the table because I don't want to make it too long. Y'all know my videos be getting long. <laughs> so. Okay, so we got some cards out here on the table. Uh, all right. So, you guys, we have a convert narcissist. Um, my landlord's son is here. That's the one that tried to date me and I turned him down. He tried to date me and I turned him down. Um, he's cute, but I don't know. It's just something wouldn't connect me. First of all, he's too young for me. So, oh, child. That is my damn <laughs> sage. <laughs> um, blue, we have, um, Connected to your energy field. Mr. Noble is connected to my energy field. We have Rule of the Land, uh, Faith, HIV, uh, Alternate Reality Spells, Flowers, Pots, Lies, Grapes, Sex Trafficking, Powerless Cure, Thankful Money, Green Tea, Long Term, um, Divine Masculine is a Can't Get Right. Okay, so the lies here is that the, the that somebody is trying to plant within you that the Divine Masculine is sex trafficking and uh, is I can't get right that is so untrue that those that's the lie um they're trying to make you powerless long term um they spelled pots on you um the cure is green tea I've drank green tea anyway but the cure for me the, the best thing you could do is counteract the spell word all right so you gotta pray and manifest for you to be cured Or to return back to center. Because somebody spelled pots on you. Um, I'm drinking green tea with mixed with uh I got some um little four ounce cups, uh these little uh fruit cups. They're smoothies from Walmart and they're really good. And I just mix it with the green tea to help flush my body. And I gotta get my um I gotta get a green, like a green smoothie tea, uh green smoothie or the green something. Oh, y'all know what I'm trying to say. The micro greens and all that stuff. That that green detox. Yeah, detox. That detox uh, drink, baby. <laughs> With that spinach and kale in it. Gotta give me one of those. Because soon, uh, I've been feeling a lot better um, since I've been uh, dealing with the spiritual uh, nature of... See, a lot of times people think that you can cure everything through um can you open that door because it's too smoky a lot of people think you would just cure everything through just taking the medicines and doing all that but no sometimes you have to go in and actually pray and manifest and do all that stuff to counteract all these um uh, this stuff that they're they're doing to you in the spiritual room you have to actually go in and do some manifestation work because all the time you can eat and move around and be healthy and all that and it still don't matter. And the reason why they want me to have pox is because they don't want me and my twin having a baby. <laughs> Cause they know two uh, 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 two divine beings who share the same soul is gonna create a super baby. You know, those spiritual babies are gonna come and they're gonna manifest. And then the flesh, that's like your higher self times 10, times 100. So they don't want that. Oh no, they don't want that. <laughs> then the Barbie race too high, you get me? Um, they're trying to they spell HIV on you too I don't know that's good luck with that because I've been keeping my own um, stuff to myself so I don't know Like, and I don't do needles I don't do nothing with needles I don't so mm, I ain't gonna say good luck with that if you got it whoever sending it to me what I learned is they be projecting because they have pops because they have HIV and they be projecting that, projecting that on other people. And I'm one of the most people they like to project on because I am authentically me. I am divinely guided and they hate it. 
makes them feel away because they can't be themselves. Well, they don't. I won't say they can't. They don't want to be themselves. They be them true selves, and people are like oh, you were faking the whole time. They don't want the backlash. They, I would bump a backlash. I got plenty of backlash. Was I was just trying to be myself. I wasn't never having imposter syndrome. I used to be so afraid to be myself and share my gifts with the world. Um, and that's what that that was my problem. I was like get hurt when people say I was really sensitive. But <laughs> the journey has made me thick skinned it and I appreciate that. <laughs> it's free and to be thick skinned. You know what I mean? I'm sensitive to the spirit of God, but to people, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> um so yeah. Why is this color? So that, that could have been messing with your throat chakra or your no, spirit say your throat, both your third eye and your throat chakra. Holy Spirit, why is this blue here? Is this uh to represent the throat or the uh third eye chakra? This represent the throat chakra. Throat. They're trying to. Yeah, they're spelling HIV and pox on you. I need to use another deck. I'll be using the same deck. It'd be your own family. It's a it's a one for me, it's my own family member. This person have HIV, and this person is spelling. This person have pox, and that's the reason why they they want me to have it because they have it. That is sad. <laughs> I chose different. What my family member that is doing this to me was out there, you know, selling her body and doing all those nasty things and sleeping with my baby daddy and exes of mine. <laughs> You play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. That's my saying for stuff like that. You play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. That is my game. That is my saying for that. Because I was I never did that to her, never tried to, never thought about it. it just it wasn't. I truly loved the, the person I'm talking about. And it's crazy. Um, that's crazy because I'm already drinking my green tea <laughs> and I got me a little wild berry uh, think, uh, smoothie thingy bomb in here and it made just a uh, smoothie mm -hmm. it's good it's not like it's not sweet it's, it's only the sweetness from the um the berry so I'm thankful for that so that's what um a family member of, of me is doing some uh okay so <clears throat> my landlord's son or I should say this person worked for HUD her son is trying to make me powerless um I don't know I don't know why he's trying to make me powerless but that's what he's trying to do. It says trying to make me powerless long term. That's crazy. People be doing weird shit. It'd be jealousy. It'd be all types of reason. Um, it says a convert narcissist is. Oh. A convert narcissist, okay, convert narcissist, this is the card, wants to be you so they watch you and copy you. They're hyper hypersensitive, they are very defensive, inflated self ego, inflated self uh, sense of self importance, self centered, exaggerated sense, sense of self. They watch you to, to imitate you, but they don't like you. Lack of accountability, superficial, charm. 
superficial charm, um, attention seeking, manipulation, breaks people's boundaries. And this is this person is trying either to make me seem like I'm involved into some kind of self track. No, that that was thank you, Holy Spirit. That is for okay, so I'm pretty sure this is the ex president that's doing this. What's the sun zodiac sign of this convert narcissist? Holy Spirit, what's the sun zodiac sign of this convert narcissist? What's the sun zodiac sign of this convert narcissist? Oh, I got Sagittarius and Aries. So fire sign, probably cloaking his energy. Let me ask the card. Holy Spirit is um the ex president cloaking his energy. Is the ex president cloaking his energy? Is the ex president cloaking his energy? Is the ex president cloaking his? The ex president cloaking his energy. Yep, the sex president, he's cloaking his energy. It makes sense because he's always, the way the, the, I can really tell by the way the reading is going. So, he's into sex trafficking, the ex president. Something about grapes. So, oh, Spirit said grapes and green tea is good. Um, I've been drinking me a, wine, a little bit of wine here and there. And that helps me to relax a little bit. Not all the time, like once or twice a month. I don't really crave it like that and I don't really because wine it just makes me go to sleep faster and better that's it and I can't drink more than like two ounces that's just who I am as a person child I did I had all my drinking years when I was like 16 to 18 I used to drink all the time yeah <laughs> but when I got older, I guess that's why I don't do it as much. Like, it's not like something that, oh, I'm going to party and drink. No, I, that is, I don't go crazy because I was given access at an early age. <laughs> and I don't have an addicted personality. So, I don't know. Just, I could drink wine or I could choose not to drink it. Half of the time, I forget. If I go to the store, I'm like, oh, they go alcohol. Then I might pick it up, but it's not a thing for me. <sighs> The Coca-Cola is, but that's not a thing for me. I'm not going to claim that either. That's not a thing for me. Either. <laughs> because, to be honest, I haven't had it in, like, well, I had some, I had a sip of my son's at, uh, um, when he had some food. I think it was my, my daughter's or my son's. But I haven't had, like, I haven't purchased any for me. I had a sip of my son's the other day, so. But, yeah, um. Why is he by this rule of, so he, oh, because he wants to be me. Um, he wants to be the ruler of the land. He copies, he imitates, he'll laugh and pick and do all this warfare on me. But the honest to God truth is he wants to be the ruler of the land. That's why he became president. Um, and he was ruler of the land for, in a specific way, not in a divine way, but in a specific way. He was a very minimized way, spirit is saying. He was, and he, he he abused his power, and then he eluded justice for what he did. Um, he eluded justice when he, you know, he he knew he was should should have been charged for doing essaying them girls. And, well, not even essay having consensual sex with a minor. Put it that way. A little bit essay nobody. Well, I say you did. The law say you did. But in your feeble mind, we're gonna give you. We're gonna feed to your weakness. Listen, <laughs> consensual sex with a minor. She, the fact is, they were minors. <laughs> the fact is, you shouldn't have been having sex. The fact is, when you're having sex with a minor and you're way above their age, they're under 18, under 16, and you're like 50, 40, you're disgusting. And it's called SAA because they're young. They, they, they need more time to develop their brain and body, and you're just taking advantage of children. <sighs> child I can't anyways and he's into sex trafficking they're trying to say that this is your divine masculine that's doing it but this is a lie this is this uh covert narcissist that's doing it so I gotta look up grapes I'm so glad I got my thing right here my own computer I, I want to see spirit is telling me to see uh grapes uh look up grapes for y'all for a minute hold on I'm all over the place, y'all. I have 
I'm typing. That's why I stopped talking. I haven't done this in a minute. It's, I feel like I've been away for a long time, and it doesn't. It's just because of the warfare. It like it what does weigh on you. Great symbolism. Um, much of this usage is directly because of its leaning. Meaning as a symbol and for the very reason that uh, symbol conveys a positive message of rebirth and birth. So it's so great in, in, in symbolism in the Christianity uh, culture, religion is to like we say Phoenix, like in spirituality, the Phoenix is the rebirth, but in Christianity, grapes are. So it's definitely a spiritual rebirth in a subtle way i put it that way because christianity the way i'm picking this energy up let's let's not talk about christianity the way that i'm picking the energy up is like it's a subtle rebirth it's a subtle birth so somebody could actually be pregnant or somebody could have no rebirth so yeah <clears throat> that's what is going on here so we're gonna get some more cards out because that was pretty ex uh, self-explanatory So this is what uh, Mr. X President has been up to trying to take somebody else's position. Um, this is what he's been up to trying to take somebody else's position. And I picked up that they're trying to put a chip in uh, Donald Trump's um, mind. So um, they can't control him through their spirit. They can, you know, they get a little licks in, but they can't fully control him like they did Biden and the other presidents. So what they're trying to do is um, put a chip into him so that they can control him that way, into his brain. And y'all know uh, Elon Musk come out with a chip, right? So that's what they're trying to do to Trump. I picked that up in the spiritual room. Um, Mr. Noble is connected to your energy field, my energy field. To alter, alter reality, your reality. That's what he's doing. Something about flowers and thankful and money. So I'm gonna clarify that, and then we're gonna I'm gonna pause it, and then we're gonna get I'm gonna get some more cards on the table. I'm trying to make this reading as as efficient as I can without you know missing the messages and missing the points. Okay. What's this flowers? Thankful for money. What's this flowers? Thankful for money. Holy Spirit. So. Okay, yeah, I was being thankful. Okay, Holy Spirit. I uh, I was being thankful for my money and I was giving thanks to God for um, um basically on my Instagram. You can tell, um, you can go and look at my Instagram and tell when I posted it, the time stamp is on there. And you will see that I was in the energy of being grateful and thankful for all of my trials and tribulations. And that's the energy that I'm picking up here is my thankful energy and they are confused <laughs> so your enemy was in your aura and now they're confused it was in my aura now they're confused on how i mastered this anger jealousy resentment this this devil energy they like baby i am the devil i'm a capricorn <laughs> what do you mean it's my energy <laughs> that's what i come from like what are you talking about you're insane my people is ruthless as fuck <laughs> so i i <laughs> i've been mastered that energy like come on like I can see it. <laughs> I can see them out of the way because I am that. Like I don't deny my devil side. I don't deny my lower self. I don't deny who I am when I'm uh, my lower state of being. I know who I am at a lower state of being. And once you know who you are in a lower state of being, it's easy to maneuver. You're like, child, they trying to piss me off. And I don't like being pissed off. Um, the reason why I don't like being pissed off is because I don't like dabbling into my 
I don't like people making me or anger making me dabble into my lower side. I like to dabble in my lower side when the fuck I get ready. <laughs> True Capricorn, right? I like to dabble in my lower side when the fuck I get ready to dabble in it. Not when somebody's doing work. Not when I, not even when I'm upset. I, I feel like I should be able to control when I get upset and mad. I can have those feelings, but how I react to those feelings is up to me. So I like to control how I deal with my anger and I don't let my anger or my jealousy or anything control me. Not that I'd be jealous, but I'm just saying the devil energy. I don't let any of that control me because <laughs> I have control over it. It doesn't have control over me. And I know my lower self. I know when I'm in my lower self. I know when I'm doing low shit. Like I'm, I'm even I'm, I'm high vibrational being. I'm an ascended master. So even in my lower vibrational being, I would still always be higher than most of y'all. And it's not a flex. It's not nothing like that. It's just who I am. I've lived longer. I've done longer. I, my, I've lived longer. I've experienced more. And the stuff that you're trying to master or make me master, I already mastered it. You just leveling me up even more and more. I've mastered my lower self. <laughs> I love her. She is very welcome. But when I want her to come out, when I want that to come out, then I will let her out. <laughs> Period. That's why. Period. <laughs> that you're, you're, what's wrong? The, the thing, what's wrong with narcissists? And what's wrong with narcissistic people when they try to control you through spiritual warfare is that, especially, okay. When you're a healer like me and you're high vibrational being like me, when you're a sitting master like me, when you're from a dramana like me, your soul is from a dramana, you get what I'm saying? It's a lot of things that we naturally, innately, it seems innate to us because in the in the spiritual realm, in our dramana, we dealt with all those things. We was free and happy to be ourselves and we didn't have to differentiate between the lower self and the higher self. We just operated in a state of knowing. So that being said, <laughs> the devil tempted Jesus on the mountain and it's the same thing like why would I sell my soul give my soul up for a piece of land that my daddy already owned? are you stupid it's that same metaphor like why would I get small metal or small thing when my god can fix big things so this little thing ain't nothing like don't play with him <laughs> don't play with her don't do it so that <laughs> that's my mindset and baby, my daddy is my daddy and my mama is my mama spiritually. So don't fuck with it. <laughs> Period. <laughs> I am Capricorn. I am the devil energy. Like I come from a ruthless family. Like <laughs> y'all, it's a, it's a, I got something coming out. <laughs> Mon uh, no, I think it's Friday. It's coming out. Yeah, this Friday that's coming out. And you will see even more of my trauma, even more of the things that I master, even more of how my, how even when I didn't normally was walking into my purpose, that I was still walking into my purpose, period. <laughs> I was still walking into my purpose unconsciously. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. We got Miss Chloe on the table again. Oh, 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 the way the bass is not feeling good enough. Gucci, Gucci, go. We the bass is not feeling good enough. We the bass is not feeling good enough. We got Freemasons here. A powerful transformation. We the bass is not feeling good enough. They're using the best demon, the, Lu the Luau demon, which is the wind demon, the Lama La Ma Suit. Lama Suit, if I'm saying the name right. So, um, and my kids been having nightmares. I've been having nightmares. They're trying to uh, cause death and nightmares. That's basically what they're doing. Um, let's see. We have Chloe Bailey here, Mark Zimmer, Zuckerberger, Willow Smith, my uh, doctor's office. We the best. Let's see. We the best. Offset is here. Um, 
Antichrist is losing. Then we have spending. Let's see what else we have. We can get two more cards. You are good. So they're trying to offset your good nature. Yeah, I, I kept fight um they kept messing with my Mercury bar. And if your 246 Mercury bar is your emotion and clarity Mercury bar, they kept doing that. They're seeing an evil eye and something about your gas bill. So it could it, it don't have to be last time it was my gas bill and I what they did was it was a it was a neighbor of mine behind me going up in a tree. It's a gas thing behind our house. And going up in the tree and climbing, take, using my thing to, to climb up the tree and to break the branch. I don't know. He just get off on breaking the branches um, in my backyard. I don't know why, but <laughs> it's cute because, you know, less I got to do. All I got to do is take that shit down and go put it to the road. Like, <laughs> But, um, yeah, they're messing with your spending. Merkel bar. They're sending you the evil eye. I made my own Florida water. <laughs> I sure did. Got it right. Oh. <laughs> so, because, you know, you got to amp some stuff up. I mix it. With, I'm going to um, buy me some real Florida water and mix it with it, too. Well, this is real Florida water, but I'm going to mix the other one with this one. And, whew, more power. Bah! Shove it on the Let me stop. <laughs> I ain't playing with God. I never spoke in tongues, y'all, before. So, let me stop playing with God. <laughs> I just felt like that's what the moment that <laughs> you know when the church when the power started the power of God come down and they started speaking in tongues. I had one of them flashbacks. Seven, three, four, two, three, four. Spiritual enlightenment, growth, practicality, abundance, wealth, and success is at your door. Knocking, boom, boom, boom. Let them in, let them in, let them in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you um. So they're messing with your doctor's office and your spending. Last time, um, they messed with my, my baby's doctor's office. They messed with her doctor's office too. Um, they're trying to mess with spending. So they're keeping track of like when you get paid and stuff like that. That's what the monitoring spirits is for. Um, the we they're trying to make you not feel good enough and but they the ones that don't feel good enough but they have this big old ego like we the best but underneath that big old ego they don't feel good enough that's why they attack you uh anti-christ conscious people who don't wholly know how to be themselves and it says the anti-christ is losing so we have two confirmation we the best group the anti-christ group is not is not they don't feel good enough something about flying traveling what is this clarify this flying traveling um, they're coming against your wishes and sending demons out towards you to cause you nightmares and to have to cause you death. So if somebody's gonna have good luck traveling. So look forward to traveling. You're gonna have good luck on your travel. Why is the Freemasons here? Somebody's a Freemason. Mark Zimmerberg could be a Freemason. Is Mark? Why is he here then? Why is he here? So somebody's trying to do death spells. Okay, this person is a sweet Freemason and a dude. Child. You'll be surprised who don't like you. Child. Okay. So Mark Zuckerberg is a Freemasonary and he could be in the Antichrist group. 
these people are because he's he's underneath the 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 demon the wind demon card like death and nightmare so it could be two sect of people two sect of people doing <sighs> death spells on you on the Christ conscious yeah and then they're using the government to keep track of you so everything you tell the government agencies I noticed that everything I tell my social worker um because I have a daughter that's autistic everything I tell her or one of them because it's, it's not just one it's two different agencies um or everything that I tell these people uh that they go they go work they work they you know how let's just say demons are organized and the demonic people are organized too they're organizing together they organize each other to send information they send who they want to you almost like a handler to keep track of you to keep track of your progress i noticed um my daughter um artistic one they said that she was just like me when she was younger and ever since they have been keeping track and they it's weird because it be a lot of white people and i have lately where i stay at a lot of white people and a lot of spanish people they are highly used by the devil put it that way used by this entity the devil and they are highly um manipulative and they always they always this this lady they always try to always have eyes on my autistic daughter they always try and it's not for her well-being or her safety it's not for that it's um i, I they try to see because i broke free of being autistic um of being i was healed by 11 so they're trying to see what age is she's gonna break free of this mental block because it's autism when it came to me was just a mental block and it blocked my speech that's how i know i'm gonna have powerful speech uh, it blocks my daughter's social interactions so she's gonna be something do something that is social when she grows up and i know that because of the where the block is so they always try to a black a, a block and set uh, uh, roadblocks and send demons to powerful gifted people people basically with superpowers my daughter is from Andromeda just like me her soul is from Andromeda and the, the block she has to get through because I had to get through it was autism and her mental block is autism as well and I've noticed a lot of Andromeda Steve's do have some form of autism not all every one of them but most do they have some form of autism it's not like they're you know bedridden or some of them can be and they when they get older they just come out being normal like me i couldn't talk to nothing and now you you could you besides the spell work you could not tell that i was autistic unless until i shared it with you guys and that's how that works because those those people like that are true healers their souls is innate to healing on at its core that's what they're there that's what we're here to do to be healers to be a light to this world even to our enemies even to um satanic dark people people that are mentally they're just mentally ill people who is uh keep graduating in a demonic way <sighs> doing the devil's bidding doing satan's bidding that's all it is and that's why i don't i guess that's why i don't fear people because i already understand that i don't fear demonic people because i already understand that on a soul level so yeah this video wasn't too long you guys but it was kind of long 40 minutes so i'm out peace love you guys be pray stay prayed up stay keeping your spiritual hygiene is a must at this time because Donald Trump is going into the office and they're trying to stop this man at all costs because he is going to reveal. He is going to reveal these people to the world. And if he doesn't, then that you got to have to side eye that. You know what I mean? You have to side eye that because he was itching to say some stuff. You feel me? 
So you gonna have to side eye that. And I still say watch Elon Musk around Donald Trump. I know Donald Trump, I'm not saying that you're supposed to watch out for Donald Trump, but I'm just giving y'all like just side eye all that. I'm not gonna say too much. I cause the Christ conscious no, just side eye all that. You know what I mean? Side eye. Just like, mmm, yeah. Alright, you guys, peace, love you.